In this video, we're going to look at whether root 3 minus root 2 is rational or irrational. So we've got our root 3 minus root 2. If we set this equal to x, we can now do some rearranging. So we're going to add root 2 to both sides to give x plus root 2 equals root 3. We're now going to square both sides just to get rid of some of those roots. So we'll have x plus root 2 all squared is equal to root 3 squared. The left hand side, we're just expanding the brackets there. This would give us x squared plus two lots of root 2x plus root 2 squared, which is 2. And the right hand side, well, the square of root 3 is just 3. Now, subtracting the x squared and the 2 from both sides gives us 2 root 2x equals 1 minus x squared. And now, if we divide through by the 2x, we get that root 2 equals 1 minus x squared all over 2x. Now suppose that x is a rational number. So if x is rational, it can be written as a fraction a over b, where a and b are whole numbers. Well, if we can do that with x, then one minus x squared and two x must also be rational. And if we've got two rational numbers dividing by each other, again, that must be rational. But we've said that one minus x squared over two x is equal to root two. So that's a contradiction because root two is irrational. So if x being rational leads to a contradiction, then it must be that x is irrational. Hence, our root 3 minus root 2 is an irrational number. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.